subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasse here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can change or replace the battery of your dell inspiron 5570 laptop so let's begin the tutorial so here is my dell inspiron 5570 laptop so this is a 15 inch dell inspiron laptop anyway the first thing that you need to make sure that you properly shut down your pc or laptop and now we're just simply going to do is that we're going to turn our laptop and we need to open these 11 screws so i'm just going to open these 11 screws with the help of a phillips head screwdriver as you can see so when you're unscrewing them you need to make sure it's just a tip from me that if i remove the screw from the top right side so then i'm just going to place in a, uh, somewhere where it is on the top right position then when i'm going to open this top middle position then i'm going to place it somewhere on the top middle position so that i don't mix all the screws because some screws are of different length on different laptops so you need to make sure that you place them in the right position so that you can remember them when you're going to re uh, screw them So once you have unplugged all the screws the first thing that you need to do is to eject the hard disk drive bay so it's pretty simple all you need to do is to place your uh, thumb here and you need to gently pull it outward make sure that you unplug this screw because this is the only screw that's holding the hard drive bay or your dvd rom bay so i'm just going to pull it out and here is my dvd rom bay in which i have my secondary hard drive anyways you are going to just place it somewhere safe and now you're going to have two additional screws as well so you need to unscrew them as well after that all we uh, now what we are going to do is that we're going to flip our laptop over we're going to open it and let me just put this uh, for side and now what we're going to do is that we're actually going to open the lock so for that we're going to use our cards as you can see right here so we got locks over all these four sides so the easiest way is that you need to insert one card you will he hear this snap sound and with the other card you're just gently going to place it in and it's going to open the locks so i'm just going to do it so you need to do it gently uh, you're going to hear some sounds but it's going to be all right so we're going to do it one by one one card in you're going to hear the lock and then you're going to move towards the other way so once done all you need to do is to uh, put your laptop in a position like this you're still going to see these openings so you're going to simply do this and this bag will come out by itself if you open all the lock so we're going to put that aside and here we're going to have the back side of our Dell Inspiron 5570 laptop. So here is our battery that we want to replace. So let me just flip it over. So here is our battery. First of all, we're going to unplug these four screws right here. Two are here and two are here as well. So I'm just going to unplug them, unscrew them. And you can see in my laptop, this particular part is broken of the battery so you're not going to see in your case mine one is broken by chance anyways we're just going to lift the battery upward slightly and here you're going to see this little connector holding the battery so you need to unplug this particular connector very gently so you can see that the uh, plug has uh, the socket has been unplugged so what i did uh, that i just pulled it from one side and from the other side as well obviously this is uh, re uh, requiring some force but we need to do it so it is going to require some force but not too much so you need to make sure and once we are done we can pull this upward like this and this plug would come out again be very careful when unplugging the battery screw because uh, the battery plug because it is very delicate so you need to be extra important in it and now we can just simply lift our battery 
so here is the battery that comes with the Dell Inspiron 5570 laptop here you can see Dell 42WH uh, and if I show you its type is WD XOR or X0R and it's a 11.4 volt battery and it is a three cell battery so this is the type of battery that you need to buy from the market with the same screw space here as well so i have already bought one i'm going to show you but first what you need to do is that you need to unplug this connector from the battery as well so you need to gently pull and unplug it from the battery so here i have already unplugged the shoe of the battery so it's going to be a little difficult if you're unplugging it for the first time so when you're going to unplug it it's going to be really hard to unplug it and you're going to think that you're going to break it so the tip here is that you need to use this low, um, this little thread like thing on the top left side and then you need to gently pull it from one side to the other obviously i have already unplugged it so that's why it's not requiring that much force but in your case it's going to require some force so again if it's in like this way you need to pull it from the left side gently to the right side and this connector will unplug it by itself again you need to do it very gently not to break it and uh, and again it's going to require force as well so for the new battery here it is so i got it from my local store here you can see here is the same battery with the same rating that is for our dell inspiron 5570 here is the market battery and here is the original battery that we got from the laptop so you can see both are uh, 42 watt hour standard rechargeable Leon battery and the type is same WD XOR and it's a 11.4 volt so that's the main thing that you need to make sure and both of the batteries are of 3 cell so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to reconnect the connector from the old battery to the new one here you can see the connector space on the top side so we're going to place it in and when you're going to know it's completely inside uh, is that you're not going to see those golden lines anymore then that means that the connector is successfully seated in its place and now we're going to place our battery on the laptop as well here as you can see so first of all we're going to screw, screw up the, all the four screws that we unscrewed before for the old battery so let me just screw them first after screwing all the four screws now we're going to reconnect the connector of the battery as well So putting one side first and then the other side and we're going to then gently uh, press it inward like so and you can see it's pretty hard now so what we're going to do is that we're going to place back the case for the Dell Inspiron 5570 so we're going to place it in its place like this we're going to move it uh, the other way around we're going to open the laptop again from the top and we're going to press and place all the locks back in like so so we got some locks here as well make sure that all the locks are snapped into their place and after that again we are going to re invert it we are going to uh, reinsert the hard or your DVD ROM bay as well like in this position it's going to be snapped it into this place so normally now people would do is that screw all the screws again but my tip is that don't screw them right now first of all check whether the laptop is even booting or powering on again or not if it's powering on again and if it has detected in the new hardware then you can screw it but if it has not detected then you need to troubleshoot the problem so my tip is don't screw until you get everything working all right so we're going to put it right here since we have just installed a new battery and we don't know whether it has any juice or not so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to first connect the charger to my laptop so here i'm going to connect my charger and i'm going to see whether 
the laptop is charging the new battery or not so now i'm going to power on the laptop and the laptop is powering on meaning that there is some juice in the battery so that's why it's picking it up so i'm just going to go like here so as far as the laptop is concerned everything is working and here uh, if you can actually see we got our battery plugged in as well you can see power mode plugged in better performance so i think it has uh, successfully detected our new battery and if i go to the battery settings and here if i just show you like so and if i can zoom in so here you can see estimated time to full charge 47 percent so our new battery has around 60 percent of battery juice in it and we got all the things as well so if i unplug it it will show us our average battery time remaining so this is our new battery my previous battery would around uh, last around five minutes or so or even two minutes in the worst cases so now i'm just going to check out how much time this battery comes uh, battery timing this battery gives so normally when you're inserting a new battery you would expect to have two to two, three hours of usage in dell batteries so i'm just going to see anyways the main thing is that it has successfully detected our battery because i have unplugged the main cable power charging cable so it means that now it's getting the juice all from the battery itself now what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to uh, shut down this pc and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to screw all the back screws of this particular laptop so what i'm just simply going to do is i'm going to close it i'm going to turn it around oops so that's sorry anyways i'm going to turn it around and now i'm going to reinsert all the screws back onto their places and now you're done so my tip is that when you bought a new battery you need to at least let it charge for the first time to full 100 percent so don't i would say use the laptop when you have inserted a fresh battery make it fully charged and then use it so that's all for now so this is how you can replace your battery on the dell inspiron 5570 laptop if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of question regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and stay safe guys